You know, I, I looked up to my teachers. They were not only role models, they were examples. They were, um, you know, people that I really aspired to be. You knew that they were there to support you. This, this Iolani culture is really one of the family, the Ohana, and one team. That's really what it is. You're there to support each other, to help each other. My great, great memory of Iolani was um, that I was made to feel like I was part of a bigger community here, that I wasn't just passing through. And um, when I look back now, there were so many adults on this campus that went out of their way to make me feel like I was a valuable part of this community. I think our kids really want to know that we see them beyond just their test scores, beyond just their academic achievements, that we see them as uh, the people that they truly are. I think this community is, is very, very special. I've seen time and time again how my colleagues sacrifice in order to lift students up. They have a commitment to really um, allowing kids to soar and to support them in unimaginable ways. And that's inspiring. And, you know, being a student here, a former student here, I benefited from that. You know, my teachers, they really, really helped us um, to spread our wings, to try new things, and to have the courage to figure out who we are. And so what I love is this opportunity to have the support to be as innovative and creative as possible so that we can really ignite the spark in our students. So there's physical changes like new buildings, uh, lots of greenery, but lots of things that remain the same. The spirit of the school, the beauty and generosity of the people has remained. You see this in numerous ways. There's a biathlon that's run for grades five and six. It's a hundred meter swim and then it's two laps around the track, so half a mile. On that day, there's clearly a winner. And so often in a competition, somebody wins. But what's really, really neat is there are many kids who finish quickly. There are some kids, this is one of the hardest things they've ever done at the school, right? They've been successful in all of the academic courses, but this has really pushed them to the limit. And sometimes that, that kid is the last person. They're still running another lap while everyone else is done. And so I've seen this happen numerous times with kids over the years. Half the kids will run that last lap alongside of that person, cheering them on. The other half of the class will do the cheer tunnel or stand there and clap. And it's just such a moving moment because they know that person has struggled all quarter to do this race. And so they, one, they know that, they're aware of it, and then they do something about it um, to make it a great day for everyone. Like that's, that's truly the one team moment and it says a lot about our students. I always think about Yolani as having super high expectations but then meeting that bar with so much support and love from teachers and that's the ideal situation to have a young person grow up in, right? You're gonna reach a higher potential than you ever thought possible. That definitely happened for me here and so I really truly think we have this just this extremely special environment here that anything is possible. Culture and community of, of, of Iolani School I think is seen brilliantly in the events of the spring of 2020 when the pandemic hit the nation, when all other schools were distance learning the fact that we found a way that we at Iolani could meet in person. You know, no, no one else was able to, to do that. Yeah, we really believe in supporting each other. You know, in, in just so many ways, things fell into place. Just when I heard that the dorm was closing, you know, I immediately thought of a couple of the boarders that I knew. 
that moment we hadn't graduated any boarding students before since we reinstated this program. And there was also this, wait, wait a minute, we have nine seniors in this building and are they going to graduate? Are they gonna physically be here for graduation? And, and what about them? And so some students had this idea of how to celebrate them right in the lobby of our dorm, in the Wong Trainer lobby. It was really tough, right, to, to have spent a couple of years in the dorm and then to just kind of feel like that experience was suddenly cut off. Um, so very quickly, just we made like these crazy like paper graduation caps. We threw on our graduation robes and we did, you know, we did like a mini sort of graduation ceremony just for those seniors in the dorm, you know, and it was such a cathartic moment, right, with in a moment with so much fear and uncertainty um, that yeah, we really rallied together and we made something special for those kids. And yeah, it just became such a beautiful moment. That's what we do here. That's the culture that, I, that you know, I've always been in. We're here together. We're gonna get through this together. And that's how we succeed. The way the school has grown, progressed, and we really expanded and flourished under Dr. Cottrell. It's um, amazing. It's, it's a kind of growth that, yeah, I, I guess I don't want to turn around and I don't want to leave. Every time I think about, you know, maybe it's time to retire, the thought that comes to my mind is, I wonder what the student center is going to be like. I mean, I want to see what's going to happen. And I think that's maybe the reason I don't want to leave. I, I love what I see every day in every aspect of Yulani School. Teaching is all about relationships. It's all about one human being connecting with another. I think that connection is absolutely paramount to teaching and learning. And it's at the very heart of Yulani School. When we are at our best, it's that connection that is so important and it's so much uh, at the heart of our culture. It's the foundation of what makes us unique and different.